My name is Anke Weisheit. I'm a researcher at Bar University of Science and Technology and I'm working on the institutionalization of indigenous knowledge in university setting. Today I was making a presentation on how can we bring indigenous knowledge together. That means the practitioners, the scientists, the researchers, the industrial people, the entrepreneurs, bring them together in one location and do research, training and development together with a strong focus on community outreach and interaction between scientists and traditional knowledge and indigenous knowledge practitioners. There's a large interest in the subject of indigenous knowledge and in this institutionalization. The session was very highly attended with very, very active people in the group work. And there were some issues coming out. How can we store indigenous knowledge in a way that traditional people can still use it? Library, traditional libraries are not accessible to indigenous people because they're all written in book and journals. So we had an idea of making oral and video. Another person about rain and better forecasting using indigenous knowledge, combine it with traditional and western meteorological system. Another, another presenter was talking about diversification of food in their daily diet. In Malawi, most of the people eat shima, that is maize meal. And the project was enhancing using other food crops for the diet to improve the food, but also the nutritional value of the intake. The next step in the activity is that I make a working document, put it on a Web2 tool called Wiki, and invite the participant of the session to contribute to a larger document. And if everything gets right, I will publish a book with all the ideas together. The book will be published in a publisher with print on demand and access to the PDF. Some publisher allow you to publish, but also allow, when you want a book, you pay money. You get a book printed through Amazon, but if you want it free of charge, download it. So it's an open access document. Why I'm doing that? How can I use public money? Even if I'm coming, I come here funded by Acknowledge Share Fair Addis Ababa and now if I put the findings in a closed document that is unethical. I make it public. I use public money producing public goods and that is the reason why I like to put it in open access.